The College Council of Riverside recently held their first annual Amazing Race, College Edition, in downtown Riverside. There were many teams of three, with over 180 participants. The top prize was $500 book scholarship for each member of the team. The pit stops for the race included Fox Theater, Mission Inn, Back to the Grind, Savius, The Salted Pig, and many more. The student government was one of many teams representing for the Riverside Community College District. What made you decide to compete in the race? It's a great team building activity, especially with um, within the student government members within our district. RCCD. RCCD. You know, it helps us uh, realize that even though we come from all different backgrounds, we can work together and we're going to win this. The Zed Navaretti, City of Riverside Youth and Education Coordinator, explain more about the event and its purpose. I'm the Youth and Education Coordinator for the City of Riverside and the Housing and Mayor's Office. And one of the groups that I have the privilege of working with is the College Council of Riverside. One of our goals was to get um, more students to love Riverside and to increase affinity for their campus, but as well as the city. We also wanted to connect them to other campuses and let them know that they were three other campuses where their college students. So one of the ideas that came out of this group was to do a race that is adjacent to downtown. Hence the amazing college race. Navarrete explained the reaction she got from students. So most of them, a lot of students had a lot of fun. Um, they, it was more exhausting, I think, than, than most anticipated. Um, a lot of them had a great strategy. They did all the extra points that they could. And you know, in the end, it paid off. We had a total of 60 teams participate, 60 teams of three. Um, and so it's you know, a total of 180 students that were running around downtown learning about it and getting to know the city, meeting council members, taking pictures with mascots, so just overall and enjoying a beautiful day. Now I've already said that this event has been in the works for a long time. So we've, we've been working on it since the beginning of the school year um, and we timed it so that it was at the beginning of the year so it wouldn't conflict with students' midterms or any major things that students really need to focus on. So, beginning of the term, beginning of the semester, without the appropriate time. The only thing we're doing is we're hoping for a great January budget, which we got. The winners of the race, who were the RS crew, or Rivera sisters, were surprised and excited that they won. We have to get every single point. We dress every costume, wore our UCR gear, and we, had, board, we did everything. And we had to get everything. Yeah. Yeah. The sisters went above and beyond in preparing for the race. We did um, a map. We drew our own map and basically researched a lot of the historical sites and figured out uh, main key points of what they would be asked during the race. So we prepared just by researching and really getting to know the area. And we drove by like, car before, so we knew like where exactly it was in the day, time, so we could see everything. The sisters revealed their strategy for winning the race. The strategy yes. was to run. <laughs> to run. If we figured out a clue, it was just to run. Uh, at first, we were like, no, we'll start with the easier clues, get more of the points, and then run to them. But well, it changed. Them we couldn't yeah. figure out. We were trying to think about it, and then finally yeah. we got it, and we figured but it out. But the end was the hardest part was running. Because we were all the way from Rubido coming here. Yeah. We ran the whole way. We, we left Rubido trying to encourage yeah. everyone. That was the hardest clue, was the Mount Rubido, because we, we thought, what race? They wouldn't make us run all the way to Rubido. And then they made us run all the way to Rubido. <laughs> so that was our last clue. We had 30 minutes to run there and then run back. But we, we made pushed it. Yeah, yeah, we pushed it. The Rivera sisters expressed their thoughts on having this as an annual event. I think it was a really good idea to have this because as you see our students, we're kind of far away from this, but we're still very close. And having us run around the city, we got to know more of the history. Like just for us researching it, we found out a lot about the history. of Like I never knew President Reagan got married at the Mission Inn. So that, I, I mean, I went to, I was at UCR and I just never really researched the history. So then I found out. And it was fun seeing the city, the Salted Pig, and like downtown Riverside, the Mission Inn. It was really nice. It was also city. nice to see school spirit because I know at UCR we don't really see a lot, and we saw a lot of UCR and RCC and school spirit. So I think that is what the main part of it was. It was 
Yeah, and prideful for college. For UCR and college. Yeah. Yeah. And to top it off, the mascots even got into it. Literally. You can find out more information about this event or other events and about the College Council of Riverside at www.collegetownriverside.com. On behalf of Viewpoints, this has been Jared Jackson.